Hey, what is up, guys? It is me, Siri. Come back to you with a brand new YouTube video, and today is episode one of my coaching series. I actually have a Discord server for coaching. If you want to send me any gameplay so that they can be coached on my series, be sure to um either send it to my email, which I will have down below, a custom email just for sending gameplays. Or you can uh, join the Discord server. I'll have a link down there as well to the Discord server. And you can just send gameplays to that tab over there. And um, hope you guys all enjoy the video. So I'm just gonna be coaching some Drogos gameplay today from someone on my coaching server. So let's just get should be cool to learn. I could be a dumb Frenchie. <laughs> Select your champion. All right. All right. So I know he's gonna pick get up ready Drogos. for another 20k damage. Like to to so, I don't even know how I'm um, gonna I'm play him. Honestly, to the picks that are being made. like the one time, um, the couple times overall, I went off I feel like because the team's already I got lucky. Though, regardless, because you have an insta pick on the uh, on the EV, so that's quite a bit of splash damage. Not to mention that that, that will probably get them to. Okay, I'm gonna start my recording. Good. I might just start thinking. recording. Uh, I'm gonna end up posting it on YouTube. Just or no, because no, no, no. I wanted to, uh, I'll like blow up, I'll blow up in the Paladin's crew now, I'm kidding. Will do a lot more damage. And in oh, hindsight, like, yes, no ever if you would wreck the Knessa, but, like, 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 I'd like, rather have the Knessa as... Uh, esports okay, thing. so Victor is already, like, he's like a flank Jesus. tank, if you really do think about it. Why not? So, yeah. that Victor probably That's shouldn't want to heal or something. That's the thing that I would see when I retub. That's probably what I would have recommended, because you already have the Knessa and the Eevee. Like, what is that? You don't want to have too much flash damage. Just put it on the guy that had to pull up. Uh, sorry for the bit rate. He did have his bit rate a little messed up, but... Why are you... Why are you... Why are you... Why are you... Why are you tapped out every two seconds? Did I hear that every time? I like to on the videos as... If it would allow... It gives me less time to have a reset. Things, things, like, this is what you're thinking in the moment, and that's what he's really trying to pick up on. Uh, Honestly, so at his cards. Uh, let, let me go back onto these cards. Right here, um, lung capacity. This card is all right, but I leave this towards the really high level players. As even sometimes when I was using that card, I'm not sure if there's some other side effects where you cannot hit your explosive. The explosive on the fire spit for point clearing and point clearing is very important that's like one of Drogos' best cards if you're trying to take out supports and just deal a lot of damage it's a thousand damage it's just a great it's a great move in general lung capacity makes it really hard to hit that and timing your shots not to mention most of the time i feel like it goes so much faster that sometimes it already hits something and if you're in like a clutch situation when you're in like a 1v1 in really close up areas and this has happened to me quite a few times I feel like if it's going so fast, you can't actually win because I like to win by using the fire spit. But uh, let's just keep on going. Actually, no, let me look at these cards. Um, I also don't recommend this card because it's a little bit too much dependent. It's too dependent on getting kills. I generally don't work with cards that depend on getting kills unless like, you're really, really good at, at that character. I also would not really get propel all too much. Uh, it can be helpful, but I would not even I wouldn't work on it by 75%. In most cases, that will kind of actually screw you over as you're going to be popping up way too far ahead, and that's going to draw a lot of attention to you. And the one thing is Drogos is you don't want to just pop straight up into the air. And I know I'm looking at a lot of these cards, but when you pop straight up into the air, you're the main focus. Teams. You can either get hooked by a Makoa, because I'm pretty sure they have a, 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 a Makoa, or an ADC, or I should say... um. A more of a hit scan character, they're gonna shoot you down. Even a Cassie will shoot you down because you're an easy target. You're not that fast up in the air. So let's see what he picks up. I'm pretty sure he's gonna Honestly, screw it. Kid, Tyrell, uh, Chargo, CP, and Okay, so he gets. Okay, good on him. Wait, no, 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 no. in love. Um, me. Let me stop that right here. Okay, so the thing is, actually, no skin can play long that. Um, Flash Shield is not really needed for Drogos, as he's up in the air in most cases, and anyone that uses Blast Shield, or I mean, uh, AoE damage, which is such as, like, Shotgun, and anything that can hit multiple targets at once, okay, but you can't get up here, bud. Um, anything but you can't. with a Shotgun does hit multiple targets can't, at once. Um, let me stop this, because I'm also gonna talk about that. Um, you, you're, uh, unless they have a buck, there's really no need to get blast shields as you won't get punished all too often so long as you stay up in the air and you can go up in there whenever you want to really and truly mostly with um mostly with the survival card. Uh, also going back to the horse starts, you want to be a little more prepared. This is just me nitpicking at this point because I want to make you the best player that you can. So I gotta 
really get picked. Um, they just you know, the they either run into the door or they stand way too far okay, away. but you can't get up here, bud. What I do but is you I can't. get preempted and I just can't, start bud. waiting. I wait until can't, it's just about bud. to go off and I time yeah, it. Yeah, I'm on a horse, right? That's on fire. Makes door, no sense. Yeah, no, I'm on a horse. It's like of it moving the hitbox so it's no longer effective. So if you just predict it, in most cases you'll actually get a better shot. Oh, that one shot could cross the house the whole side, dude. Higher bags. I'm always first. Um, have an EV, um and I'm so looking scared at that, I don't know where you're way out of the fight already, and this is really bad for your team. Now look at where you are. You're completely out of the fight. You got distracted by an EV that can't even punish you unless you're on the ground. So EV cannot really damage you at all. You should not be getting hurt by EV at all. You don't want to put too much attention on her, and you could have easily gone back a little bit over to the right and just went around and dealt, dealt some damage. Hopefully you do a little flank route here to grab their attention, maybe fire spit. To knock them out of, uh, out of all their positions. So that looks like what you're doing right now. Okay, good, good. Oh, I got a double kill. Take out his turrets. It's alright, fire speed. That's a skill thing. You're gonna have to work on that. It's all about timing as you get Ooh, smarter. Okay. But really, oh, you don't want to leave your teammates. Uh, yeah. Like, if you're not on the point, yeah, that's gonna cause a lot of problems. I mean, you need to be out damaging the enemy team. And right now, you're putting too much attention on the EV. I'd really recommend not putting oh, all too much oh, uh, attention to EV. Also, I'd not recommend loading up a Q ability for that, because Q ability is very good for um for taking out tank shields if you have the right cards. Yeah. Uh, right now, you should not be focusing too much yeah, down no, on a tiger right, focus on the person. Wow, that was easy. Take the person on the point. Right there, you gotta be focusing down the pit. Oh, I know pits are a bit harder to kill. Oh, no hard. way, I gotta kill. No way. way. You gotta focus them down. Oh, it looks like uh, now, right now, like what I'd probably recommend um, is oh, that I, I'd really me. tell you to go start demounting. Because uh, your team me, has me. good point control, and you want to delay as much as possible for your teammates to get to the point before the end of the game. As you know, if anyone comes in the pole, we'll be able to hold up for a good amount of time. So good, you're focused firing on him, but what I'd recommend is instead of trying to shoot down the shield, the foe is not going to deal too much damage, and so is your support. They're not. There's you're EV. better off just flying really above the want. shield and damaging them like that. So good, you're going to try and help her, but right now you're overextending. What? Which means if you were to get caught off by one of their hit scans, you're yeah, guaranteed dead. Right I'm now, you're going to leave her. you on the push. You should be focused on the push right now. Nothing else but the push. That was a good fire spit. Good um, taking off her attention. Good. Look at that pit. Look, look at what you're positioned. You have that no position for power. If the EV flanks you, you can try and go off to the uh, right hand uh, side. Uh, Even uh, then, uh, it's not guaranteed that you'll get away. I think your biggest damage is that little bubble you pop out of your shield. Just know you gotta make sure of power and also have ways of escaping. It is. And in that one, you did not get. Like, you only really got lucky there. Now, these are some good rockets. You're punishing them. Please, now, right please, now, you're please, working on your health management. You gotta back off. Get above. You should be getting away from fighting. You gotta get that uh, oh, combat begin right now. Yeah. You need to make sure that you do not fall into yeah, down. No. She's gonna punish you the first chance you get. Right now, I'd recommend not messing around with the EV. Only no matter what, you can teleport every two seconds. Off. Otherwise, your main focus is really to actually be stopping the enemy team. Right now, you need to take down that shield. So the victim can deal as much as he has good. Now you just need to leave combat right now. Okay, good. Alright. Right now, you should be a little bit closer to your team. No, not with this. Come on, no, down please, down please, like where did he go? But you should really be up with your team where right did now. My your team go? needs your damage, as the enemy team has spawn advantage. And if you're no messing way. around with the Drogos right now, He's close to death, but like you need to be able to kill him because you're wasting time right here. You I can't hit him out of the air. Of Boost time. Your time is valuable, <laughs> and each time one of you guys die, if you were to die to that Drogos, I'm just gonna let him live. The enemy team. May have got away this time. Whereas you guys killing the Drogos does not make all too much of a I'm difference. Not next time. Uh, and the reason being for that if, is unless because, he's fine again. Oh, uh, you know. he gets spawn advantage. They have spawn advantage. They <clears> that big explosion, to to yeah, does a thousand. So it's a good thing you never popped your ult. That was smart on you. You gotta save that ult and point like, capture oh, look and punish him as much bud. as possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a little review on that get round. Do not leave your teammates yeah, caught out like that. You gotta go and go help your teammates. Right. And you gotta take down the shield, but also at the same time you have to know when to focus on getting damage. You? If the Kinesa and the Victor not have a clear shot, uh, then there's no <laughs> point in taking that shield. You're better off just going behind the shield and trying to make the Victor flee out of him or kill him. 
And also, you just want to stick with your team a little more and don't focus on enemies you cannot kill. Drogos has very selective enemies that he can kill and cannot kill. Be careful with the forward and things like that. I got up there. Make sure that you're staying with your enemy, anything, your team. Good luck. He did that kind of thing. Um, th this is interesting. Right. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a bad move. I'd probably say it's more of a waste of time. Right. Who am I gonna trust? As you should have just gone straight to the point of sales for damage as Makoa. I don't care about the multiman. You were verifying that that they had a tank on point. I'd rather they went really wrong, but it seemed like you knew that that their tank was on point. So good on you for doing it in a safe location. That's what the about fuck is fucking me? Is that easy? Nate Lacks right here, the guy I'm reviewing right now, he actually fucking side come blast my pro in Halo. Right now you should actually be mounting. You should be going up back there. Go back there and start demounting them off your horse and say you get point cap good. But you should do it a lot earlier and you should do a fire thing to get all of them. If you can force the yeah, gas, you force the shield, and what it happens if you force the shield is now they cannot time. progress on the point because they do get yeah. to punish like that pit. They're gonna have to. Oh god, I'm gonna die. You need to leave right now as your team already has advantage, so they don't need your oh, damage. God. Right now. Like so this, get your please. health, then go back up because they have victory. That was a good one. You need to punish that Tyra I didn't know right she now. Was there. I'm Tyra sorry. is an easy target for you. Although she's technically your counter because she's pit scan, at the same time, Tyra is stationary. She she's not exactly stationary, but she has no escapability. Therefore, the most she can do is try and focus you down with, um, with Hunter's bit. Mark, but not nothing too much there. So good flank on you. You need to start punishing them good. And chase him down, chase him down, because I'm pretty sure it's weightless is out. So good job if you were paying attention to the cooldown and anything. Uh, you I need to get up a little more in space. Really. Yep. Yes. So you might want to get record, maybe. It does not seem like they're very causing any problems, so don't get distracted by EV. Stop getting distracted by EV. She's wasting the time. That was a pretty good oh. I mean, a uh, pretty good hit that she did on you. Banks but do not focus on EV. You're wasting your health on her. Club. Now you're right. pushing up right now. Perfect. No, I'm kind of banks, you bitch! Uh, I'm not sure Victor's there, but to follow up. <laughs> So you know your EV's weak. They really good. So right low. around there, but there's an enemy that just went right under you that you might want to hand close. That way you can just not get there. Although that's not your problem. You so definitely want to make sure that all your teammates are alive because EV's good for harassing. Uh, you're going to fire off at that? Good. So nice so we can win it right here. We have to play another round. Because we just push so the start up. Is staying right on the ground and he's not going to I could just land a single god dang As there. Drogos, you cannot really easily get away. Why did I fly to get away? You're not with that verticality right now. Honestly, um, with that pick, I don't know why you have blast shields too. I get that most of their team is um AOE damage, and basically all the teams AOE damage because their only hit scan uses AOE to point clear and stuff like that. They don't have too much point clear and potential, by the way. Other than the fact that they're because their Drogos is not too good and they have aggression buzz, etc. But um, I probably have to say instead of getting that, you could have got something more for your own defense. Obviously, you can't get Haven now. I'd probably get Veterans that way. Whenever because what you're doing a lot of is you're chasing out enemies. Not to mention you're the main source of damage on your team, in my opinion. As Drogos is one of those go-to damages, just like Bomb King and Tyra. I consider those guys the go-to damages. And I don't consider them flank damages of like hybrids and stuff like that. So I'd definitely go with veteran in this case. Beating. Okay, so you get cauterized. I don't know. Uh, actually, no. Cauterized does slightly make sense. And not to mention you have AOE damage. So actually, no, I can't really. I can't really say cauterized is a terrible choice. Uh, Coming in you're for not the god like all the barrack enough up close for it to really make too much of a difference. Because all you're really countering is just pip and barrack. That was kind of a waste of an effort. Coming in for the god like all the I don't know if that really did great that you as there's a hunter's mark. Whoever's on it. You overextend while doing this, so you'll probably die. So, you do 
luckily survived, but I don't know. I probably have a follow up ready. Um, you don't want to pop a all if you don't have a follow up. So yes, it's good to insert another tank to work in your favor, but Is no one else was able to follow up on it. You didn't have a recorder to follow up on it. All you had was a victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not really yeah, enough. Yeah. That's for like winning team fights and point fights. What was that sound? You don't want to pop your alts unless know. you know that you're near the cap yeah, point. I want to put on the that's meant for punishing tanks. Uh, yeah. No, your but tank's you about your tank's about to die. I don't know yeah, I can. if you really want to pop that either. But your tank yeah. is not there. <laughs> but it works in your favor. Not doing it, bud. So it's fine. No, you can't get up here. Alright. Yo, Let's see. Right yeah, now, you have kill heal. I don't it's know about that card. It's not turning the meta right now. Um, I wouldn't really say to get kill. You want to get quite on it. <laughs> I'd probably tell you to get it. veteran because oh, you're, you're constantly thing. getting forced out of engagements, and you're the main source of damage in my opinion. Therefore, you want to be able to fight at all times. <laughs> Once again, yeah, with uh, horse, you wanna, yeah, you wanna get ready by the door and do it preemptively. Um, I don't really see the point of this. You're just wasting your F ability. Whenever you do that, you're wasting your F ability, you're losing out on damage that you could have had by the time you were there. Okay, so this is good. This is a good angle of power, and hey, right now you need, you, turn around, you need to get out of right now. You need to get out of right now, because now that you so know where you are, good. Good, good, good. And now you should be getting a little bit too far away from the fight. Punish him and get back to the fight. Don't even oh, to hit, just punish him, get back to the fight, because you need to cap that point right now. Uh, that, that was a good, in theory, that was a good, um, a good fire spit, but not, not good for actually hitting the fire spit, as you do it so much. But, you need to make sure you're staying in the fight. Punish the bear right now, that's your main choice. Punish the bear. Good. Force them into that corner and make sure they can't push up, the lay them. Good, now this is perfect. See, now that's perfect. No, you punch the bear. And the pip's not a good really? deal on the bear. Like you always get the dead ass off? <laughs> that was a bad ult. You like really don't even want to ult. That, that, yeah, that's a waste of an ult. Like, and fuck here's why. And they just like kill us, but it's out of the way, like, fuck it, it's out. Oh, I didn't notice that the point capture was so it. close. May have done okay, good once for the, the first time. Okay, once the point capture was so close, then that's fine. So, um, first yeah, we'll watch this real quick, but, um, I did, wait, had you in general, skin? If, if that was not going to be the final point capture, uh, I'd tell you to save that all for the next tank. Just Don't tell me you paid for it. And not to do it out in the open, etc. But I'm pretty sure you know did that. Did you actually pay for that? I'm just going to assume that you know that, and you only did it because it was final. Twitter, Facebook, okay, so we're seeing this. YouTube, like that. Yeah, Victor you know, was like doing all right. So, that's the rest of the gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys learned some stuff from this. Um, just a little thing, we're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give a summary of what I'm gonna have to say that you need to fix up on your Drogos. You need to know that you're the main source of damage. You're one of the main sources of damage and you should not be leaving combat too much as you need your team to support you because you're, you're not the best at running away from things to be quite honest. You can go up in the air but what's that gonna do? That's just gonna draw a lot of attention to you which means that there's like no buildings like there was on Fish Market. Like if you go over to like the enemy's fortress there's not as many things to, to, to really propel yourself behind and protect yourself right there. Um, so I probably have to say focus on the main fight. You're in the team fight. Leave the flanking to other players. Um, you did a good job of punishing the barrack. Um, next time I go with veteran, not, not so much kill the heal because that's not really in the meta right now as you want to begin back to fight as much as possible. And I get that kills were going your way but I really feel like that's more of a... Uh, I, I just don't really see that card being as useful as a veteran. But just stay in the fights and don't get don't, don't focus on enemies that can't even damage you all too much so you had good ults good everything so yeah that's probably all i'd say stay in the fights don't waste time uh get to the door for um guess the time so you run through the door faster and that's all i can really say so pretty good um you did pretty good in the gameplay i didn't know it was gonna be a win i prefer to see losses by the way as those are more coachable and uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys all learned something from this and improved. To see me live, sign off. If you guys all enjoyed the video, and game on, guys.